it's a regular guy man i'm just inventorying all my uh medical kits kind of resetting them up making sure they're stocked for what they need and i'm setting up a new battle belt and it's not what the video is about but uh i needed a new utility or medical pouch and i had to find something kind of the right size and i saw this thing online uh this tigress one or one tiger excuse me look, my, my dyslexia is kicking in there uh one one tigress um utility medical pouch um if you want to see the the model number it's like I'm just going to take a little look at it. I'm going to see what from my quote down to officer kit, which is from Tactical Medical Solutions, will fit in there. It's uh, something I got here a while back. It's a uh, company in Anderson that do with uh, kind of like police, trauma, EMS stuff. They have, it's uh, tactical but medical things too so i mean they got a lot of stuff so check them out i'll put their their link in the description down there but let me flip this camera around and we're going to see what all will fit in this thing all right we got the old one tigers here let's take a little look at this joker uh like i said it may work for what i need might be too big might be too small i mean i like the packaging even though the only thing i don't like about it is uh it says made in china i don't like that but you know whatever it is what it is uh let me pull this off of there uh, i mean seems to be some nice put together stuff good card stock i mean that's a sign that stuff's well put together i don't know if it's if it's true or not but all right zipper i do like that it attaches horizontally to a belt or whatever kit you're doing here i don't like the ones that go vertical i mean i can deal with them and you can also make some little tabs like i have on one of my other that changes the direction of it 90 degrees and i have a video on how to do that I like this, uh, in a way, I like that it only opens at a basically a 45 degree because the ones that open all the way will tend to dump all your stuff out if you have them on the back of a belt or something like that. It's got a little cargo net to hold some stuff. Uh, on this side, these are just different pouches to put different things in, whatever you want. You can put some scissors or something in there. Uh, and then I, I mainly like this, I just need the big dump pouch part. That's the, that's the biggest and most important thing for me. But uh, as far as the tourniquet, I normally put the tourniquet on the outside of my equipment, like so, because that's the thing that you want to get to the quickest. But let's just see what all we can, we can put in here. I'm just gonna put my scissors in there, my black gloves. Eh, I'll just stuff them in there too. Like I said, some of this stuff came from Down Doster Kit, and you're wondering, it's like, why do you have these in these magical pouches? Well, they're just regular Ziploc bags. Because I opened them, I was checking out the bandages uh, to see how I wanted to fold them and stuff like that, and then I wanted them to stay clean, so I put them uh, back in a Ziploc bag so they're clean and they're folded the way I would want to use them. Uh, this blast bandage, I don't think I'm going to put it in here. This is for something big. It's like, it's a, kind of an ace bandage, but it has a wrap that opens up and it's huge. Almost like if you got shot in the stomach and all your guts are hanging out, it's to kind of put and hold them all back in. And it, it's for a bigger wound, as it says, blast band, well, not last, hopefully it's not your last bandage, blast bandage. So it's for a bigger wound to hold stuff in. I am going to put this uh, modular bandage here. It's for moderate uh, hemorrhage. Uh, this is a good one. It's basically like an ace bandage with, uh, uh, what can I say, like an Israeli bandage, like on the inside of it. So it can be used as an ace bandage, and it also has, uh, like, uh, it, it's almost like an Israeli type bandage on the inside of it. So, and the video is not about that, so I'm, I'm not going to get it out or anything. I've got other videos and stuff to talk about bandages. All right, I'm just going to stick it in there like so. My tape. I just stick it on the side. My tape, I always leave it kind of preloaded like that, so it's easy just to pull off. Otherwise, last thing you want to do is having to be fooling around with it, especially if you're uh, stressed when your fine motor skills are not working good. All right, so that seems to hold most of the stuff that I'm trying to fit in there. Let me just see if this thing will close good uh, and not bulge out too much everywhere. Oh, it seems like it. Shoot, this thing will close easy. Uh, make sure this, my tape and everything's in there. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, that's still pretty thin. I thought it was going to be all bulged out and stuff. It's actually uh, really good. Now, as far as the uh, tourniquet, uh, I'm a big fan of the tourniquet. This is actually a soft, even though the video is not about that, this is a soft T tourniquet. This one, I think, is, uh, I've got different tourniquets. This one's from Tactical Medical Solutions, as you see right there. Boy, I mean, they hooked me up with some stuff, I got to say. So I just, I open my tourniquet as large as it will go, and then I kind of pre-fold it just so it's ready just to kind of, pop out and put over the biggest limb and then just crank down. Uh, some people have it loaded different ways. Hey, do do what you feel. Uh, just whatever you practice with, I'd prefer to keep them that way on the on everything. I kind of set mine there. Uh, let's see, where's, 
Where's the rest of my uh, little kit around here? I don't even know where they are now. But I actually use the little belt keepers that I used in the police department. I kind of run through there and I just snap them on the outside. That way this is easy to get to because the, the most common uh, form of battlefield injury that people died on, and it's been this way for years, is bleeding to death. So you want to get to that quickly. But I'm going to put this on my new battle belt. I'll probably show you a picture of my new battle belt after I get it put together. But uh, I wanted to talk about this one tigress pouch here that's also made by, uh, it's, I think, Condor Fabrics. Yeah, one tigress Condor Fabrics brand, or Condora fabric. So I'll put a link on it. Uh, check it out. I think it's going to work for what I need. And uh, I like it. But if you had any other experiences with it, let us know. But that's a regular guy's opinion on it.